a year ago, the defensive cat rankings weren't that great. You had people wanting your, you know, wanting you to be fired. Uh, how nice is it to, to see the production and the improvement in so many categories and what this defense has been able to do this season? Uh, do you ever have a moment where you think, told you so? Um, I mean, I'm happy for the players. I am. I think they're uh, they're doing a heck of a job week by week preparing and going out there and executing and um, they're making plays, right? And I think uh, I think you see the production, the stat line, whatever it is, um, increase as a result. So I'm happy for them, um, what they're able to do week in and week out. I feel like we've been improving um, as the seasons kind of went on. Um, so hopefully we can continue that this week. We've got another big game this week, uh, obviously going to Houston. So hopefully we can continue to prepare these next few days and go down there and put up another good showing. Uh, Kayla. Yeah, Coach, uh, how much of a difference has Danico Autry uh, been to this team and just the ongoing consistency that he's able to put out there on game days? Yeah, I think he's been huge for us. Uh, obviously, on third down, what he brings, being able to go inside and he rushes outside some for us on occasion on first, second down. Um, so I think his versatility to do do some different things has been a big piece for us. Um, and he's, he's been a, he's been a factor, like very rarely do you see him not factor in the game. He's productive. He's able to get those one-on-one ones with guards and you find ways to win. Um, and I think they're doing a really good job across the board, all four of those guys of being coordinated, understanding who they are, understanding who the guy next to them is, um, and being able to execute the plan with a good understanding of, Hey, this guy next to me is more this type of player, whether it's Nico or Jeff or Harold outside versus Bud. They all they're all unique in their own right. And I think uh, as a unit Russian, I think they've done a good job understanding that. Uh, Paul. Shane, I know um, we've uh, we've not learned much about what Schwartz does, probably on, on purpose, uh, that that's vague. I'm wondering if you might be able to offer one small example of, of, of something uh, that he does or has done that, that's had a bearing on the, on the defense, on a guy, on you? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, just like all our other assistant coaches, they're all extremely valuable. They do a really good job um, providing input for the game plan. Um, he's involved. He's in every defensive staff meeting. Um, I think the big asset for me is he's, he's somebody I can bounce things off of. He's been there. He's done it. Um, so when I got a thought, when I got an idea, when I have a question, um, he's someone that I can turn to, right? And he's a he's an invaluable resource to me. He has been throughout the season. Um, and I think it's been a great addition for us as a defensive staff. Uh, Teron? The run – uh, here we go. The run defense you guys have, I mean, you're, you're second in the league. Uh, how big is just the sheer want to from the secondary as far as tackling is concerned? How big is that in your run defense? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I mean, you go back and look at it. Like, I think a lot of the, a lot of those X play runs that end up showing up at times, I mean, it, it comes down to the secondary, right? Those guys ability to get guys on the ground is the last line of defense. Um, and you eliminate some of those big gains, like that's going to show up in the, in the stat sheet and rankings and all that other good stuff. Um, and then also, like, just their their role. Like, when there's times we play an eight-man box, and those guys have to fit, whether it's on the edge, whether it's in an A-gap, in a B-gap, like, they're asked to do some of those things. So I think the willingness of those guys has been good. I think their ability to go up there and tackle and show some physicality in the run game has been a great, a great asset to us throughout. Um, but they're, they're always involved, whether it's a corner, whether it's a safety. And I think the willingness has been there. Uh, I think they take just as much pride in it as our D-line, as our linebackers. Um, because, again, it all comes down to being able to play unit defense, whether we're defending the run, whether we're defending the pass. It really takes all of it. Uh, Jim? And Shane, I know a lot of guys, including you, are proud of what you guys have been able to do and run defense this year. I mean, what, what, what it's a it's a big picture type deal, but what have been the biggest reasons in your mind you guys have improved so much there? Yeah, I think uh, I think tackling's been good. I do. I think other than really that first Jacksonville game, I think we 
we tackled pretty well for the most part. Um, New England, we had a few hiccups. Um, I think guys are playing with technique in the run game. Um, they're square. They're able to set edges. Guys are getting downhill when they have to get downhill and fill up some gaps. Um, so we've been able to really build that wall in there. Um, I think the, the team and the rushers and everybody else is understanding, like, you got to earn the right to rush, right? Like, first, second down defense isn't always about getting in your fastest sporting stance and rolling off the ball. Like, there, there's a responsibility that comes, that comes with stopping the run, um, creating those third and longs, creating those passing situations. Where you're, where, where you're able to rush and cover and do some of those things. So I think I think they've embraced that part of it. Um, and then I think really the, the understanding of fits and gaps and units and, and just with kind of our plan and what we're doing, um, I think guys are pretty coordinated in their understanding of how we're, how we're fitting things up for the most part. And there's times we see something new and it catches us a time or two. It happened last week against Miami early in the game. But – and overall, I think they're, they're understanding. I think the assistant coaches, um, as team pro, uh, the safeties, right, with both the mid, I think all those guys have a good grasp of, of what we're asking in terms of picks. Uh, ben? Hey, Shane. I, I was wondering what you saw from yeah. David – from uh from david long in his first game back in in close to two months and um kb was kind of saying after the game he was somewhat of an emotional leader i was wondering maybe kind of what that meant to you as well and, and just in terms of kind of the depth you guys have at inside linebacker yeah i mean uh it was good to see david back out there i think he plays with with passion like when you watch him play like you know every single play that he loves football and it's it's not always perfect um, but he finds finds ways to be productive right he finds ways to be productive whether it's tackling whether it's playing being able to play the ball in the air um but i think he, he shows that passion the speed he plays with the physicality that he brings um i think it shows and i think our guys our guys see it just like you see it as coaches you guys see it as you're watching the game, um, and that that breeds some juice, some energy, um, and and that's I think that's where what KB is really alluding to with that. Um, and again, like that linebacker room, we've got a lot of depth there, man. It's, it's a great problem to have. Um, you see as it goes, but it gives us some versatility with how we can use guys, what we're asking them to do, and and as the week goes and our game plan plays out with what we're asking each guy to do. Like, that's how we go week to week. Uh, we're getting short on time, but I'm going to try to squeeze in these last four. Uh, so quick, uh, quick rapid fire. Uh, John Glennon. Hey, Shane. Um, one more on the run, D. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys were here last year when the team struggled uh, to stop the run. What would it mean, do you think, um, to, uh, to finish first against the run? I know you're pretty close. Uh, I know wins and losses is more important, but that also be uh, significant for these guys? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the D-line the D -line guys are all about it. Um, obviously, I mean, that's really what they do between stopping the run and rushing the passes. So I think it's a big deal for them. Um, ultimately, we're going to do what we got to do to win the game. Right? We got to, whatever we got to do to win the game, whether it's uh, hopefully we can hold them and we can stop the run and do those types of things, that's, that's always part of it. Um, but I know those D-line guys up front, the linebackers, again, moving back to what Jaron uh, asked about, even the DBs to some degree, I think I think they're aware it's on their mind. Um, but right now, really, our focus is really finding a way to beat Houston. Whatever we got to do to beat Houston, however we got to do it, understanding the game plan and being able to go out there and execute um, and see how it goes, but finding a way to win the game. Uh, Terry? Shane? With Jayon coming back, now you've you got four healthy inside linebackers who all have started for you at times this year now. What's it like uh, trying to sort through who to put in what package and, and who's going to be out there? Yeah, I mean, uh, part of it. You always want to create comp competition on your roster, whether it's in training camp, whether it's week 18. Like, that's what makes guys better is having somebody nipping at the heels um, 
never getting comfortable, like understanding it's a competitive league, whether we play the team or whoever we're playing or on our own team. Like that's how a roster is structured. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, and I think the guys understand that. And again, it's a great problem to have for us. It really is. It's being able to kind of pick and choose based on their skill set, what we want to do with each guy, you know, and find ways to, to incorporate them as we see fit based on the game plan and kind of go from there. And it can, it can change week to week, obviously, based on who we're playing. Uh, last two, uh, David. Right Along those same lines, Shane, is, is there a risk of overthinking who to use in what situation out of that quartet, or do you almost feel like you can't go wrong, wh whatever you decide? Yeah, I mean, I think we played we played and won games with all of them, right? Doing doing a bunch of different things. So, I mean, it's not like things are too dramatic. There's situational stuff that comes up first, second down versus third down. Um, some of that stuff shows up at times on how we're going to use guys, but. I think all of them got good grasp of what they're doing. Like, no matter who it is that's, that's going to go out there and play, like they're all going to go out there and be productive and fly around and play hard. I agree. Like, we don't need to overthink it. We've got to put guys out there and let them go play. Uh, last one, Luke. Hey, and how do you approach blitzing when, for the most part, you haven't really needed to because of the four guys up front and you can just sort of send seven in coverage at will? Yeah, I think uh, – I mean, I think there's time and place just as the game going, you kind of get a feel like we always have a variety of things up in the game plan. And then as the game the game's going, you kind of get a feel for how it's being played, how you're able to affect the quarterback, whether you're able to move forward, whether you need to add a piece. Um, the coverage plays a big part in that as well. Just how effective you feel like you're able to cover maybe a man down in coverage. Um, or if you need to make sure you got that seven piece where you can do some different things. So I think it's really a feel thing as the game's going, just kind of seeing where we're at. Like, we always have, have things on our call sheet that we feel like are, are our best bet if we need something. Um, but at the same time, like it's really kind of deciphering and seeing how it's going with the guys and what we need um, in certain situations throughout the game.